Yo, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's Flame, welcome we're back to a brand new video to the channel, and today guys we have some new Pokemon snap footage that got released last night through Pokemon Japan's Twitter account. It's actually really sick guys, I knew that Pokemon would eventually come out with some sort of launch trailer, it makes sense, every single video game does that to promote a lot of their product to eventually it releasing worldwide. And guys, we are so damn close man, as I'm recording this, we are 8 days away from this being revealed. And also technically seven days for me if you kind of look at it just because like well for me I live in North America so it goes live technically on the 29th at 10 o'clock mountain time p.m. Uh, that'd be 9 pacific and technically eastern it is a 30th because of midnight but yeah time zones all confusing all there but yeah guys we're gonna check out this new footage right here it's five minutes worth of it I'm very excited to show you guys at this point and also we'll probably get some new stuff here and there as well especially like this weekend and of course the week when a new Pokemon snap arrives I can't wait to look at this with you guys let's check it out and see what this game has in store for us all right and everyone just a quick heads up right here so i can't have audio within this i'll just have some og pokemon snap music playing in the background but yeah it was kind of like my last video where i can't have audio playing due to copyright reasons here on youtube yeah i know it sucks but also we'll be talking about some information the exact same time while going through this footage but either way let's click on it right here and see what we have at that point so of course we have the Illumina Orb uh, logo going for a new Pokemon Snap at that point. So this is cool. So we have some Leopard, we have some uh, Piggy Peg, love this. A Bulbasaur chasing a Pancham, Hippowdon chilling in the desert, got a cool fish, Deerling. Man, I cannot wait to explore so much. Arbok right there. I think Arbok and Cradelia. I think those are two new Pokemon that we have not seen before in the listing. So there we go. Bam. Two new Pokemon are available in this scheme already. World of Wild Pokemon, the Lentil region. Oh man, I cannot wait to play this game here, man. I cannot wait. Got some Quagsire, some Wooper, the Blossom Dancing. We've seen a lot of that through promotions of this game. Oh my god. So Glissapod, so this is really cool. So this is the underwater, so Lugia should be appearing like uh, sometime, or maybe you had to do like events to actually get the Lugia in the first place. And then of course we have, hey look at that, we have the Quagsire jumping in the water right there, and the Sobble washing the Venusaur. So this is something right here that I want to like talk about. So it's going to go to like the next clip here right away. You're seeing of course the Sobble being happy with the Venusaur. So we haven't seen here nothing yet. So this is my point, and I'm going to pause the video. Uh, kind of here and there while watching this so what's really cool about the original Pokemon snap right is that sometimes when you see a Pokemon it won't do things your first kind of travel through like sometimes like you need like an item you have to figure out like a puzzle in the map to actually activate of what the Pokemon's gonna do or for a Pokemon to potentially evolve there and if you guys know from the first like footage we've ever seen throughout Pokemon snap we actually got that point right there where Venusaur jumped right into the water and at that point he didn't do it there so my internal guess is that maybe you need some sort of item in the game like of course like when you progress further into it to eventually get that or you know you get some like sort of puzzle within the map to actually do that with Venusaur and of course what we know from this game here right is that if you want to technically 100% the game you're going to need a 4 star rating throughout all of your Pokemon so you need to get like a 1 star Venusaur a 2 star, 3 star, 4 star you get the point at that and of course the 4 star is going to be the Venusaur jumping in so my guess is like him being happy right there could potentially be like the three or two star at that scenario There's just so many possibilities of what you could do and to get the perfect picture of the Pokemon there I love that so much. So now we're in the underwater. Of course, we have some mantine swimming We got some love disc, which I don't think love disc was actually uh, uh, Shown in these but we have some love disc chilling on the course. So that's really cute. That's a that's a good photo right there I love that then of course we get more of the underwater. I wonder what we're gonna see here next. So yeah, so now we have some drift loom. Now this level I cannot wait to play, man. I think out of all the levels that we've seen here so far, and there's still many to be confirmed, which we haven't seen yet. And I love that, man, because like going into this game, I want to be surprised about it. I want to have a fun time. And just the sunset with the water, man. It's such a beautiful sight, man. It's so good. So there's some drift bloom floating in the air. It's actually holding a collab pearl. I didn't even notice that. It's just chilling. 
<laughs> There's a clam pearl in the air. Well, hopefully that drift limb is actually nice to this Pokemon. So it's just gonna drop it off. So I wonder if clam pearl will actually evolve. Maybe like there's like a scenario at that point where like you could throw something at the clam pearl or interact with the drift blim and it could evolve into like a hunt tail. That's actually sick. So now we have some Torterra sleeping. This is of course in more of the kind of wilder forest area at night. So a lot of the replayability in this game is absolutely sick. This is so, so like this game here is still a little bit confusing. I have no idea like what event is actually or why that Pokemon is even glowing in the first place. Score bunny. Oh, that's really that's 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 pretty good. That's actually kind of dangerous though, score bunny, especially with grass. But his feet lit up there at the night. That's awesome. Fly gone there, chilling in the background. Have of course some shooting stars, some scroopy, and I'm guessing is this minior then? So we have Onyx chilling right there. Hey, it is. So that's really cool. So this is what I mean, right? To so many levels that we haven't seen yet within new Pokemon Snap. I wonder. So since we have some shooting stars, right, and those are technically minior, I wonder if maybe like if we do get some sort of space level, whatever it may be, that like. Like we'll get like a meteorite popping in and that could potentially be Deoxys and we can get Rayquaza there as well. A lot of possibilities. I think that's so cool to interact, especially at night. So we have some, of course, the different colored ones like the blue, the yellow, we had the pink right there. Just like how we had, of course, our introduction into the Sun and Moon games. That is so sick, man. We have some Toucans, some Piggy Peck sleeping. It's so cool to see a lot of the levels here from different points to a day and night cycle, man. Oh, that is so cool. And I wonder, of course, the, like the possibilities of like, is that like a one star or a two star? How would that work for that specific Pokemon at that point? My guess is maybe like a one star because it's just sleeping and not like more interactive. We have a Wurmple versus a Talu. Man, leave the, like, leave the Wurmple alone, man. He's not doing it. Oh, that is so sick, man. Pinsir versus Heracross. We've seen that before. I love that. Some crap brawler punching it out, man. Making their UFC debut. <laughs> That is so sick. I love it. We have some Chincho and some Lantern. We've seen this, of course, in the previous footage here as well. Like with the Starmie and the Tentacruel, man. Oh, dude. I cannot wait. Like, we're so close, man. We're so close to eventually getting this with NK and a Chincho interacting with each other. What's the NK doing? Okay, blowing bubbles. Oh, put to sleep. <laughs> and you said gnosis on the chin shot. That's effed up there, NK. That's effed up. Some Sharpedo in the water. That's so cool, man. Oh, they're just jumping around, having a good time at that point. There's a Lapras. Oh, the Sharpedo is actually chasing the Squirtle. That poor Squirtle. The Lapras. So it's actually, it's good underneath the Lapras. Oh, we've seen that before in images. And the Lapras is actually protecting the Squirtle. Oh, dude, I love that, man. The interactions between Pokemon in this game, there's so much more compared to the original. So Saviper versus Zangoose, of course, they had that rivalry that's been going for such a long time there. I love that, man. This is so cool with this game because, like, in the original, you did have those interactions, but, like, it didn't really happen that much. Like, it was basically only, like, individual Pokemon that take pictures of but this game man just goes beyond that and i love that so much and i wonder like the pictures of what's going on there so more of the drift blims so i'm guessing this is the end of the video because yeah we're going through previous footage here and there that's really cool man i cannot wait for that the cherry blossoms with the unpheasant for that level the mantine swimming underwater the grookey and the peachy that have been promoted a lot there and of course the new pokemon snap i love that man what a great video and we're so damn close to this game okay, ladies and gentlemen that is the brand new pokemon snap footage now Actually, before I go and end this video, we actually have some more confirmation for new Pokemon Snap. So we actually have a Cerebi update talking about the printing here for new Pokemon Snap. So this is the exact same mechanism of what they did back in the day with Blockbuster. Yeah, I did say Blockbuster with new Pokemon Snap. Back in the day it, when Blockbuster was still around, you're actually able to take your original Pokemon Snap from the N64 cartridge to that store and actually print out the photos that you took within that game. And now, of course, with this generation being more technology and more advanced we actually have the exact same thing here for new pokemon snap so for the Cerebi update right here so it says nintendo and fujifilm have announced a collaboration and special edition of the instax mini link to print screenshots from games including new pokemon snap releases april 30th 
more details at their site here. So this is very, very cool, man. This is more of a collector's item. So like I said before, this is the insects machine. The original right now is actually available in North America. I think everywhere, to be honest with you, like at your local Walmart or store that you're actually able to get this thing. Just the only thing for new Pokemon Snap though, of course, is the Pokemon edition, right? So you get the Pikachu cover for it. Basically the only thing that changes is that if you go and get one from a store right now, it doesn't show the blue text. It's like a silver, I do believe. So yeah, this is the Pikachu edition here. I think this is really sick, man. This is definitely a collector's item, and I definitely worry for people because if you guys want to get this in what technology and you know, especially special editions right now within gaming, uh, they usually go out with a snap of a finger, right? Like there's a lot of scalpers out there. People can't get like the products that they want. Like look at the next generation of consoles, right? Like the PS5 and the Xbox. Those are getting sold out like no tomorrow, and it's still hard to actually get those if you actually want the consoles and play some video games on it and especially with pokemon right here as well like i feel like for this item it's going to sell it immediately so if you guys want to grab one when it actually goes live i definitely would recommend it for me though i don't know if i want to get this especially because i think it's going to be like over a hundred dollars like i said it's a cool collector's item but i think i'm just going to play the game as it is but i just thought i would like kind of show that information here there and also another twitter link here as well just kind of goes through like all what you could do with the intax machine right so right here of course we have more of the machine we go to more photos about it so yeah it prints out the photo this is for anything right like this is not just for new pokemon snap like this is for like animal crossing this is for mario games legend of zelda Zelda, whatever it may be and basically have a binder full of pictures right here which is actually kind of cool in my personal opinion like i feel like if you want to get all the pictures or all the ones that you love within new pokemon snap to create an album of it it's kind of like like looking at the pokemon train card game right but you could have it with all new pokemon snap that's actually pretty sick in my personal opinion man that's actually a really cool collection that you could have personally for yourself and i i think it's definitely a good marketing thing as well and also like to more of connect right you of course you need your switch uh use an app for your phone and eventually with your phone to print out the picture of what you want for your album shows more instructions of what you had to do with your nintendo switch and your phone and yeah if you guys want more of this information or more detail about it i definitely have the links down in the description below if you guys want to check that out on your free time and maybe you want to get it when new pokemon snap of course arrives on april 30th but yeah there we go ladies and gentlemen that is the brand new pokemon footage and information that we got for you guys here today there's probably gonna be a lot more of course next next week during the week of course of new pokemon snap survival i cannot wait for it man this is a game that we've been waiting for such a long time especially for me man it's been 20 years since the original pokemon snap and to finally get a new one of course in this generation is going to be a hyped up moment man i can't wait to see what people do with youtube videos for streaming also if you guys want to follow me as well on twitch twitch.tv slash flame underscore ca guys i try to go live every single day playing pokemon sword and shield as it is right now playing with you guys if you want to interact with Dynamax Adventures, Pokemon Shiny Hunting, all that kind of stuff. And of course, on Thursday, April 29th at 10 o'clock p.m. Mountain Time, because of time zones right here and how video games get released, I will be live the exact hour, the minute it goes live for new Pokemon Snap. And I'll be live the whole entire night and day playing this game, unlocking the mysteries and what this game has to offer. But yeah, there we go, guys. That is the video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure, of course, to leave a like, comment down below what are you guys' thoughts and opinions on new Pokemon Snap. Are you guys going to pick it up? Or are you going to watch like a YouTube? YouTuber or Twitch streamer or Facebook, whatever it may be, uh, to kind of give your opinion if you want to spend your money on this or not, and subscribe to the channel. That'd be greatly appreciated. Anyway, guys, of course, we'll see you soon with more Pokemon news here soon. Much love, though, guys. Have yourselves a wonderful day. Thank you so much, and we'll see you guys on the next one.